Hi, I am Robin Gordon Cartier, and I am just so, so excited to be going to South Dakota in June for the American Harp Society Conference. I'm even more excited that I, myself, and Laura Zarr will be directing the Harp Ensemble, the Diamond Celebration Harp Ensemble for this conference. It is the 50th year. It's going to be in person. And I think when people say what excites you the most, it excites me the most that it's going to be in person. I'm really excited to work with Laura Zarr because while I've played many of her arrangements, I've never worked with her. And ensemble is my favorite thing. I grew up playing in harp ensemble with my teacher. And the thing that I love about ensemble is that you can take a million levels of harp playing and put them all together and come out with a really, really great sound. And so it's a moment that everybody can be included. The music we chose, there's just so many reasons. We started, we're starting with Musical Times by Maurice Strawn. Maurice, Maurice Strawn is a, a teacher at Cass Tech in Detroit, but he's also someone who graduated from Cass Tech School. And if you don't know about Cass Tech School, it has one of the earliest, biggest heart programs. And that's why I'm excited about Maurice and his music because he's a success story. He came out of that school. Also in his music, and the Musical Times is for beginners and everyone else, but he also includes theory tutorials. And as a music teacher, I love that. We go to Bubbles. Stephanie Curcio is such a veteran um, harpist and writer. She's got a new book out about harp experiences, and we're playing her Bubbles Waltz, which is just a really fun piece, piece to play. Charlene Morris is Wallace. I'm saying all the names wrong, but once you get to know me, you'll know that's my specialty. Charlene is um, um, going to be there presenting a workshop, and we are also doing her Caribou Wagon, which is just a really kind of fun song that sounds like what it says, Caribou Wagon. It's a really nice audition, and it's a different sound that I don't think people have heard. My friend Diane Michaels, who is also a board member, has a Puccini medley that she arranged. And the thing I love about this medley is that we all want to play things that people recognize. And this Puccini medley has it. You feel like you're right on stage and it's just a whole lot of fun. The last piece by Stephen Dunstan. Now, Stephen Dunstan um, plays many instruments. He came to harp even later in life, but he composes out of this world and so many different things. And, you know, he just has so much music. I find that all the contemporary composers, so many of them have just, they just pour it out. They just pour it out. His Harpy Ever After is a 12 bar blues. And I am excited because that means you get to play in a lot of different parts. You get to play what you want. And as long as you can count 12 measures, you're in. And if you can't, can't count 12 measures, you're in anyway, because we'll be like, next, next, next. We're going to get it done. The best reason you should join the Harp Ensemble is because it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a place where everybody is included. And you're going to go away with friendships for life. Did I mention Diane Michaels? who is a composer who I've known since she was six years old. You get harp friends for forever. But the bigger thing with this harp ensemble, something I've never seen before, and I've done a couple of these ensemble, we have four coaches, Charles Lynch, Jan Stein, Rachel Christensen, and Keila Walton, all people who could be running these ensembles by themselves. Well, there are coaches. So that means for the first time ever, no one is going to get left behind here. You know how sometimes you don't really know someone got left behind, but they're kind of sitting in the back like, I don't understand any of this, and I'm just going to milly vanilli harp. I'm not going to play a note, and no one will know. We don't want that. With these coaches, everyone will be able to play to whatever skill level they have and beyond. Not only do we have coaches, we have a high school runner named KT Pagon. So that means if you want some water, if you want a breath, if you want somebody to tune your harp, because she's a harp student who is on her way to Jamie Hefner's program in Texas, I'll say UT. She'll edit it out if I'm wrong. But I mean, look at all of that. So all you have to do is get your harp and come. I really hope to see just tons of people there for this big celebration.